Welcome back to Validated.js. This video deals with data structure sanitizers, method which helps us reformat object contents. Let's take the example of a form field again. Imagine you receive the value which contains some unwanted characters on either side. You can remove them by using the method trim. By default, it only removes spaces, but in comparison to the JavaScript method trim, this method can remove other characters as well if defined in the second argument as shown in the example. Let's take a look at another example. In HTML, some characters are reserved, which means if you want to use them, you need to replace them with the HTML entities. Validator.js proposes a simple solution in the form of escape. It replaces those special characters with the equivalent in HTML entities. Sometimes you need to restrict the number of characters that you don't want, in a login for example. For that, login has a really cool function blacklist. This method removes those undesired characters from your string. As you can see, the method returns a string without those characters. We just saw how to restrict the use of certain characters with blacklist. You can also have the possibility to do the opposite, which is to restrict the use to only allowed characters. You can check that out in the exercise. So this concludes the end of the tutorials for validated.js. I hope you know enough to about the different components of the library to be able to use it with ease. Good luck.